I'd like to continue on the subject of communication. Now, I have been worrying about the excessive use of mobile telephones for a number of reasons, that we've become slaves to them, that they disturb us at every conceivable moment, and that they may conceivably be, be bad for our health as well. There is another aspect of modern communication that I also begin to find difficult to contend with, and that is the email. Now again, how on earth, I wonder to myself, did we ever survive without email? Every morning I come into my office and the first thing I do is to switch on the email. Normally I will find four to five messages in the morning and that's after I switched off at six, seven or whenever the evening before. It takes time to read these emails and it's something which I always insist on doing first thing in the morning before I do anything else, partly because they may well be some urgent ones. Worst of all, of course, is if I go away, which I do fairly often. For example, I was on mission for 10 days in China not so long ago. When I came back, I had 73 emails on my screen, which I then had to read through, in many cases answer immediately, and I put in a parenthesis here, if you don't answer them immediately, you will probably forget and they will remain unanswered. Quite a number of these messages were urgent, semi-urgent. At any rate, they had to be dealt with. And it took me a whole day of work just to get through that. People often like to send jokes through the email. It's become one of the fashionable things to do, to send around jokes to your friends. I don't know how many of you have received many of these jokes, but I have to admit now, after the novelty wore off, after a few months, in, wo in other words, of receiving such jokes, I now delete them almost immediately. Unless I see who the sender is and I get a warning, this is a short one. Because sometimes these jokes are miles long as well. So the email has its drawbacks. It's taking up too much of our time. Sometimes it goes wrong. You think you've answered somebody's message and then you get a little note some hours, perhaps even days later, saying that your message never got there. If you don't get exactly the correct address, one dot or comma wrong, your message won't go either. And sometimes, of course, the whole thing fails, the system crashes and you're without email or anything else on your computer for several hours all of which is very relaxing, but it's worrying to think how much these systems have taken over our lives. I must admit that as a result of having the entire contents of my hard disk removed by error by an unfortunate person who naturally apologised profusely for this error afterwards, after that had happened to me and I realised when I looked through my filing cupboards and so on, that actually I had most of this on paper. How very important it is to keep everything on paper. The paperless society, they say. Do you know what most people do in the paperless society? They Just what I do, they keep everything on paper, continuing therefore blithely to destroy the rainforests. And what do they do with emails? What I do as well, print it out. I ask you really, is this a sign of progress or not?